Hey fellow tennis nerds, it's time for a quick so-called mixed bag. Thanks to you who keep noticing and sending stuff over Instagram, Facebook or email. Let us start with an email from Robert Ye. I noticed in the pics that Babla posted on Instagram a few days ago about Alcaraz racket that he seems to have switched from the Pure Aero VS to the Pure Aero 98, the new model. Check out the review on Tennis Nerd. The spin grommets at 12 and 6 of his racket have gone from the flat shaped ones at the US Open last year to the more traditional shaped ones. I also looked up photos of Rune's racket out of curiosity from his matches at both Paris Masters last year and Madrid Open last week and he seems to have switched as well. So well spotted Robert, thanks for this. Some players aren't as picky with rackets as others and I have a feeling that it's the case with both Alcaraz and Rune. Often the younger guys seems a bit, seem a bit less picky. And if Pablo offers them to use a new, slightly different model, maybe they are fine with it. Maybe it's not such a big deal. Kudos to my buddy Carl Adrian, who went to Madrid as a coach for Roman Safiulin, who had a great tournament and got some really cool footage. Longer video to come of that. So it's great to see the experience from a coach in such an event. Staying on the topic of Alcaraz, he tested a Vapor 11 for a while. Obviously, the brands want them to switch to a new model, but that rarely happens. The pros want to use the model they are used to and comfortable with. So he tested the Vapor 11, went back to the Vapor Pro first edition. Rune and Fritz, they didn't even bother to try a new one, while Andrew Rublev, for example, he did make the switch to the Vapor 11. Ben Shelton, the explosive young American player, has changed strings. He is now with Yonex Politor Rev in the lavender purple color. Talking about switching stuff, Jack Sock is competing in the growing sport of pickleball. They've written some articles here where he enjoys the sport. He would like to compete in both, but uh, he's only played one professional event so far. And we'll see if he will add more. It's interesting to see some tennis players actually move over to this sport after they don't feel like they can compete on the same level anymore. Those are some quick observations. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want help finding your next racket or string, check out the services in the Tennis Nerd store. That's all for today. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. Very good. Very good.